start again. My name is Lauren Johnson from grade 8. I will be presenting my project on Hiroshima's physical features. Before the bombing, Hiroshima had very beautiful physical features. Unfortunately, after the bombing, Hiroshima's physical features weren't as beautiful as they once were. These physical features would include mountains, valleys, rivers, and plains. This is one of the pictures of after the bombing. As you can see in the background, well, you can't really see. It would, these are mountains, and that's a destructive house. The nuclear bomb was like nuclear bomb destructed the environment for the plants and so the plants have like deformalities and well, I couldn't find a picture for those but they have like like they aren't like what normal plants look like. I will be presenting Japan's natural resources. Japan has two natural resources, which are the ocean surrounding its archipelago and forests covering large portions of its land. Also, Japan doesn't have these natural resources such as oil, natural gas, coal, iron, and copper. More than 125 million people lived on land areas, ranking only 61st in the world in terms. Japan's territorial waters and exclusive economic zones, the latter including continental shelves with exclusive rights for exploration, exploitation covering 4.4 million square, while its land area is small. 68.2% of it is covered by forests, the fourth highest percentage in the world. After Bhutan, Finland, and Laos, and far ahead of the U.S., 33.1% France, 28.6% and China, 22%. All these in indicate that Japan has huge potentials to become a country with abundant natural resources. But bringing them to reality will require drastic changes in the mindset of both languages. Of both languages and um, both China's, China's demand cannot be fully met by its domestic forest resources, which are concentrated in the inland provinces of Yunnan and Sichuan, and cost. If, Jap if Japan accepted foreign workers for logging, improved the transportation in Japanese forests, the potential for exploration lumber to China and South Korea at competitive prices would be excellent. So. This is what they do for their natural resources. This is the map of natural resources. Um, this is a chart of a chart of this of what they do for their natural resources. And that's it. My name is Natalie Joseph, and I'm in the eighth grade. I will be presenting my project on the ancient history of Japan. Ancient Japan has made unique contributions to world culture, which include the Shinto religion, its architecture, interesting art, the oldest pottery objects in the world, and many literary classics, including the world's first novel. There are also different periods for each, such as the Jomon period, Yayoi period, the Kofu period, the Asuka period, the Nara period, and the Heian period. The first historical period of Japan is the Jomon period. This period is known for its pottery with its rope-like decoration. This is what it would look like. Next comes the Yeo period. This period is known for the reddish pottery found in Tokyo. They had developed ritual practices using items such as dotoku bronze bells. In this period, there was also one Japanese ruler by the name of Queen Himaiko, ruling over a hundred kingdoms. This is their pottery. The 
next period is the Kofun period. This period is named after the large keyhole shaped burial mounds. In addition to the shape of the burial mounds, another feature were the placement of large terracotta figurines of humans, animals, and even buildings called Hanawa, placed around the top of tombs to act as guardians. These are the burial mounds and what they would look like. And then the Hanawa figurines. Then we have the Asuka period. The most significant ruler of this period was Prince Shotoku. The most significant development of the Asuka period was religious, with the introduction of Buddhism to Japan sometime in the sixth century. This would be Prince Shotoku's statue. Next came the Nara period. Famous for well-defined buildings, familiar to Chap um, Chinese architecture, Buddhism was further spread. Major temples were built, like the Todaji. This period had also produced two of the most famous and important works of Japanese literature ever, the Kojiki and Nihon Shoki. Histories with their creation myths, Shinto gods, and royal bloodlines. This would be the Todaji. And lastly is the Heian period. This period is noted for its cultural achievements, which included the creation of Japanese writing kana, using Chinese characters, which permitted the production of the world's first novel, The Tale of Genji, by Murasaki Shikibu. There were several noted diaries, Niki, written by court ladies, including the Pillow Book by Sei Shanagan. The Tale of Genji. The Pillow Book. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kiara Ramsey, and I'm from B8, and my project is based on modern history of Japan. Modern Japan has three different periods. The my here we start. My name is Kiara Ramsey from grade eight, and my project is based on modern history. Modern Japan has do it again, Kiara, because you said modern. You already said modern history of Japan. So and then you left out Japan the second time you did the tape. So go. My name is Kiara Ramsey. I'm from grade 8, and my project is based on modern history of Japan. Modern Japan has three periods, the Meiji, Imperial Japan, and Contemporary Japan. This is... Uh, so why you don't have your information, Kiara? How long you have that? You have that a long time. My name is Sereni Morrell. I am from grade 8 and I'll be intro... What's your name? Sereni Morrell. Speak up. Oh, oh, come on. My name is Sereni Morrell. I am from grade 8 and I'll be introducing culture and traditions from Japan. Japan produces a great variety of parts, ranging from traditional Japanese items such as soybean paste and soy sauce to bear and meat. Hiroshima is a mid-sized Japanese city on the southern coast of Japan across from the island of Shikoku. The Japanese dance is a type of dance that describes love and emotion in different sorts of ways. Yes. Cool. Hi, my name is Samaya Institute, and I'm from 8th grade, and I'll be presenting Japan's government today. Japan's government is a constitutional monarchy. This just means that the, there's an emperor that is in charge, but he's only in charge of ceremonies, where 
he can't do anything about laws or anything else but ceremonies. Whoever, the person that is in charge is the prime minister. He takes care of the laws and what to instruct. So, the government has three branches, the executive, legislature, and the judiciary. An executive is a person with senior managerial responsibilities in a business organization. A legislator is a person or people that form important parts of most governments. A judiciary is a system of courts that interprets the, and applies the laws in the name of the states. The emperor is the head of state and the royal family. His position does not influence the activities of the government in any way. Therefore, the prime minister is head of the government. This is Akihito. This is the emperor of Japan. He he is the um, emperor for right now, but they are in they are questioning him at this time. This is Shizo Abe. This is the prime minister of Japan. He is who in who is in charge of the government. This is the royal family. These are, this is the great, this is the great uncle. His name is unknown. The mother, her three, her two kids, and her niece. Her sister, her brother. This is the emperor's wife, and this is the emperor. Hi, my name is Elijah Ventura, and I'll be presenting Japan's climate, vegetation, and animal life. The weather in Japan is generally temperate. Japan's winter lasts from December to February. It's dry and sunny though. Here's a picture of Japan's map in the climate. Japan's vegetation forests with the change in the temperature and other conditions. Here's a picture of Japan's vegetation life. Japan's animal life consists of bears, wildcats, amani, giant fine squirrels, and much more. Here's a picture of a giant fine squirrel and Japan's black bear. Hi, my name is Gideon Opoku, and I am in the eighth grade. Can I um, start again, right? Talk about the camera, not. Right. So let's Hi, my name is Gideon Opoku, and I'm in the eighth grade. For my first presentation, I'll be I'll be presenting society and family. The average the average size of a Japanese household is 2.4 per household. Uh, a Japanese household is consisted of a mother, father, and children. The Japanese celebrate different holidays. One of that one of their biggest holidays. It's called Matsuris, but the, the but the largest holiday that they do um, celebrate is called is the New Year's cuisine. The Japanese eat a variety of different foods, and they eat and and their meat consists of beef, poultry, and pork. But they are primarily seafood eaters. The Japanese have two alphabets. The name of one alphabet is Hiri, hiragana. And the, and the other name of the another alphabet is kanji. And from and finally, the Japanese have two different religions. One of them is called Buddhism, and the other one is called Shinto. just stated about society and family. About society and family. This is my... 
This is my visual with all the information that I have just stated about society and family. Society and family. Go back and put the chart and let somebody help you open it up. Because what you should have done is open it up a long time so that it's flat. So that you can see the information. So somebody just needs to help you. You need to hold up and down. Up and down. It needs to be both sides for you to see it. Okay. And people have, unless you think you did a better job than somebody, don't laugh at anybody for stupidity. Thank you. My name is Alexandra Grant. I'm from grade 8. And my, pro my first project is based on the cities of Japan. Even though Japan has 49 cities, the most important cities of Japan are Chiyoda, which is known for its rice field, Hakone, which is known for its historical sites, Matsuzaki is known for its commercial fishing and forestry, Sendai is known for its star festival. Shibaya is known for its shopping district. Shinjuku is known for its publishing industry. <coughs> Tokyo is known for its high technology. And last but not least, Hiroshima. <coughs> it lies at the head of an embayment of the Inland Sea. On August 6, 1945, Hiroshima became the first city in the world to be struck by an atomic bomb. Hi, my name is Greg. Nobody here. Hi, my name is Greg, and I'll be producing the manufacturing of Japan. In Japan, shipbuilding firms receive 4.0 million gross tons of ships. The aerial space industry received a major boost in the establishment. The National Space Development Agency, which made them use satellites and to launch vehicles into the air. It's not your turn. It's not your turn. The next time Alexandra goes, that's when you go. So. Hi, my name is Samaya Satu. I'm in the eighth grade, and I'll be presenting. Hi, my name is Samaya Satu. I'm in the eighth grade, and I'll be presenting J Japan's religion. Japan has a variety of religions, which are Buddhism, Shinto, Muslim, Baha'i, Christian, and there are also new religions. Seventy point four percent of Japan's population is associated with Buddhism Buddhism. Zero point zero one percent of the population is associated with Muslim. Zero point one two of the population associates with Christianity. One point five six of the population is associated with Buhai only because it is such an outdated religion. The last two things are new religion and non-religion. New religion consists of people who do not believe in Shinto, where they think that it's a myth, and they make up their own god to serve in their own household. When you go to Japan, most likely you're going to see something like this. This is, once you see something, it's a shape or a statue, that means it means Shinto. That just means that wherever you see it ha is a strong like a strong supporter of the religion. This is the statue which they use to represent Shinto. They, you will most likely find it in churches. You can find it on the street where they would have a monument around it. Or you can also find it in a house where people actually do get miniature ones and put them in their homes to worship.
people who are, who people who sell, I mean, sorry, people who <clears throat> worship Shinto are most likely the, like, they're more likely to be, like, you most likely find them because that's the main religion they have in Japan right now. Hi, my name is Alexis Bradford. I'm from grade 8, and today I'll be presenting Japan um, languages. Hiroshima is the largest city in Shogoku religion, region of Western Honshu, the largest island of Japan. The language of Hiroshima is Japanese. Japanese is the national language spoken in Japan. There is little record of Jap Japanese written until the 8th century. In the early days, Japanese influenced vocabulary and phonology of Old Japanese, Middle Japanese, including European loanwords. The early modern Japanese period, which was from the mid-early 17th to the mid-19th century. European words were included more during the early modern Japanese period. Japanese <coughs> characters are written from left to right, just like English. And here's a picture of the Japanese characters. You good? Yep. All right. Good morning. My name is Amanda Small from Grade Eight F. I'll be talking to you about Japanese art. The first piece of art represents a military nobility and an officer widely known to the medieval and early modern times in Japan, known as a samurai. The next piece of art is a modern form of Japanese art, most commonly known as anime. This is extremely popular in the children's and adult community and can be viewed here in the USA. The last piece of Japanese art is the Japanese tiger. Most people in Japan believe that the tiger represents strength, courage, and power, while others believe the tiger is just an animal. It is also said that the tiger is associated with the concept of yin, which is the dark force that is feared by most people in Japan. and I'll be presenting Japanese education. Today, Japanese children go to school for approximately 240 days. Schools in Japan operate on a three-tier system modeled after the French school system. School then ends in March of the following year, and during this year, school is off during six weeks of the year for summer break, one week for spring break, and two weeks for winter break. Children who have their sixth birthday on or before April 1st enter the first grade of elementary school year. Elementary school lasts for six years, and the ages of the kids are from 6 to 12 years old. The kids then attend junior high school for three years, and the kids' ages are from 12 to 15. For Japanese nationals, these nine years of school are compulsory. Children then may attend high school for three years, junior college for two years, and a university for four years. Graduates who wish to further study in a specialized area may choose to continue their education in graduate school. Japanese children's school life then begins when they assemble in their homeroom classes for the day's studies. The school day starts with classroom management tasks such as taking attendance, each homeroom, has an average of 40 to 45 students. Students stay in their room for
for most of the school day while the teachers move from room to room. Their curriculum consists of mathematics, social studies, Japanese, science, and English. Other subjects include physical education, music, art, and moral studies. At the end of the day, all students participate in Osoji, the cleaning of the school. After Osoji, school is dismissed and students disperse to their different parts for club meetings. Club activities take place every day. Teachers are assigned to sponsor, but often the students themselves determine the club's daily activities. Students can join only one club, and they rarely change clubs from year to year. In most schools, clubs are divided into two types, sports clubs, such as baseball, soccer, and judo, and cultural clubs, such as English, broadcasting, and calligraphy. Club activities provide one of the primary opportunities for peer group socialization. A big difference between the Japanese school system and the American school system is that Americans represent individuality while the Japanese control the individual by observing group rules. The individual, the individual is to not to try to stand out from the group, but to be a part of the group. The children are raised with a sense of self-discipline, persistence, being healthy, studious, sympathetic, conscious, and cooperative. These are pictures of the everyday activities and the school system. I may have time for one more person, but we have Mr. Hanneman in five minutes. My name is Lauren Johnson from Grade 8, presenting my project on literature from Japan Jewish Many people, since the nuclear bombing, many people have written about the destruction of Hiroshima. Some, some people... Speak a little louder. You're supposed to come after a man that has, don't you have another one? Yes. Yeah, you're supposed to come after her. But that's fine. Okay. Hi. What's your opinion? Hi. Hi. My name is Lauren Johnson from grade 8. I will be presenting my project on literature from Hiroshima, Japan. After the nuclear bombing in Japan, a lot of people wrote about the bombing. Some people who wrote are Lawrence Yep, John Hersey, and Bob Van Leerhoven, and one of the survivors, Sachi Kamori Rummel. The only picture I could find was the book from Bob Van Leerhoven. Sachi Kamori Rummel wrote about her, how she recovered from her injuries from the nuclear bomb. She wrote how she was treated, who treated her, and where she went to be treated. She was treated in America for free by those who felt sorrow for her and other people who were surviving of the nuclear bomb. Good morning. My name is Amanda Small from Grade 8F, and I'll be presenting Japanese and Japanese. Science and technology. Japan is widely known for its crazy and out of the box inventions, such as the one I will be talking about. The first invention is the sidewinding circular skates, invented by Hammersher Schlemmer. This invention is a modern version of a skateboard. They can simply be used by placing one's feet in the circles and on the foot pads and pushing me on them. The next Japanese invention is mostly fun for your average gamer or someone who would find interest in this gaming device. It's called a Denso and was invented in Karaya Aichi 
Prefecture, Japan, by Denso Corporation. The last Japanese invention is personally my favorite. It, it is a semi-humanoid robot manufactured by SoftBank Robotics. It is called Pepper the Robot. This robot was specially designed with the ability to read human emotions. The Pepper robot is currently used in banks all over the UK and works at the Smithsonian Museum for free. It is said that Pepper might be coming here to the USA very soon. My name is Alexandra Grant. I'm from grade eight, and my project will be based on Japan's economy before World War II and the Japan's economy today. Japan was forced to pay war reparations in the form of money and company control. The United States took on a procedure of democratizing and demilitarizing the state. This is how Japan's economy was Japan's economy before World War II. Senator Joe McCarthy was overseeing this procedure and also broke Japan's financial strength by dissolving Japanese businesses. Some also argue that the rebuilding of Japan was also a means of th threatening China and Russia. This is Japan's economy today. My name is Alexandra Grant. I'm from grade eight and my project will be based on Japan's economy before World War II and the Japan's economy today. Japan was forced to pay war reparations in the form of money and company control. The United States took on a procedure of democratizing and demilitarizing the state. This is how Japan's economy was Japan's economy before World War II. Senator Joe McCarthy was overseeing this procedure and also broke Japan's financial strength by dissolving Japanese businesses. Some also argue that the rebuilding of Japan was also a means of th threatening China and Russia. This is Japan's economy today. Yep. And then the boy Elijah James is unable to learn it in time. After Hi, my name is Greg, and I'll be introducing the manufacturing of Japan. In Japan, shipbuilding firms received orders for 4.8 million gross tons of ships. The aerial space industry received a major boost in the, establish in the establishment of the National Space Development Agency, which made them use satellites to launch vehicles into the U.S. to dominate world shipping today. This is one of the ships that we made. Then after, Japan produced 9.7 million automobiles. This made it the largest producer in the world. The U.S. produced 5.4 million automobiles in the last year. Japan sold twice more than that in just in the last year, with automobiles and automobile parts most sold in Japan. Toyota, Honda, Daitsu, Nissan, and Suzuki were the most sold. This was when they were manufacturing the Suzuki car. The computers in Japan were developed with extraordinary speed and moved faster to download any sort of app on the computer. A person named Fijitsu Hitachi was a famous manufacturer who made a computer that can download things quicker than the average computer. The most popular electronics were Sega, Nintendo, Sony, and Nintendo.
So we're going to try to manufacture the computers, and this is one of the new Nintendo, um, new Nintendo systems that they made in Japan. The petrochemical industry experienced moderate growth because of steady economic expansion. The highest growth came in the production of plastic, polystyrene, and polypropylene. Prices for petrochemicals remain high because of the increased development. This was things, this was one that they made in the past two months. And for the cars, the Japan fuel was made by reacting to other substances so that it releases energy as a heat to be used for work. The concept was originally applied solely to those material capable of releasing chemical energy but since has been also applied to other sources of heat energy, such as nuclear energy. And this was the fuel that they made for one of the cars that was manufactured in the last two months. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Gideon Opoku, and I'm from grade 8. For my second presentation, I'll be presenting sports. One of the first and many sports that Japan has is sumo wrestling. Sumo wrestling is Japan's national sport. In sumo wrestling, you have, you're on a mat and you're not allowed to cross the boundary line or you are disqualified. The next sport is baseball, which was imported from the United States. In Japan, baseball is called kaku. The next sport is, is, is soccer. They also imported that from the United States. Japanese soccer team is the, is the, best, is the highest ranking soccer team in the whole of Asia. The Japanese have also imported the sport named golf. You can play golf in different regions based on your budget, based on your budget and skill level. Another sport is judo. Judo is, is many of the martial arts, including karate, jiu-jitsu, and muay thai. Judo is also in the Olympics. The Japanese have also imported skiing. It is not a very it is not a very popular sport, but they still do play in the winter in luxurious mountain ranges. And lastly, they also do have marathons, and they and they do their marathons in late in late February and early March. That's the end of my presentation. This is the chart. Oh, yes, this is the chart with all my information on it. As you can see. Um, how do you say thank you in uh, Japanese? <laughs> oh, God. You're going to Next. You don't have nothing to offer, but you're talking. Who got next? Your Alex. What? Alex Boo. Okay. Yours today? What? What's your topic? Good afternoon. Okay. My name? Health and welfare? Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, you Good afternoon. My name is Daniela Pedley. I'm from no, Wake no, no, 8 no, no, and I'll be representing <laughs> Japan's trade hold relations. On, hold on, hold on. You have to start again. Go ahead. Take three. Hi, my name is Daniela Pedley. I'm from Grade 8 and for my second presentation, I will be presenting Japan's trade relations. Japan is the fourth largest export com economy in the world. Japan's main exports are cars, integrated circuits, and vehicle parts, industrial printers, iron and steel, computers, and ships. Japan mainly trades with the United States, China, Australia, Mexico, Hong Kong, South Korea, Germany, and Taiwan. These same countries give Japan, in return, petroleum gas, Package medicaments, computers, mineral fuels, electrical machinery, food, manufactured goods, 
chemicals, and raw materials. These are various pictures of the items. These are the cars made in Japan to be exported. These are the ships they make at the export. The industrial, the integrated circuits. The industrialized printers. And this is a picture of the steel and iron industry that they have. Thank you. You're good. Hi, my name is Kiara Ramsey. I'm in grade eight, and my project is based on modern Japan. Modern Japan has three periods, the Meiji, Imperial Japan, and Contemporary Japan. The Meiji period extended from 1868 to 1912. This era represents the first half of the Emperor Empire of Japan. The Japanese society moved from being an isolated fed federal society to a westernized form. The women in um, the women in the Meiji period wore these dresses. The emperor ordered that the western clothes must be worn by the high officials. The, imperi the imperial Japan was a time, social and economic change within the constitutional monarchy, monarchy established in, 18, in 1890. At the time, Asia and America went to war. In the imperial period, World War II was active. Here are the soldiers getting ready to take place. Contemporary Japan consisted of the democratic reform under the Allied occupation. Here's a picture of what Japan looks like now, the city in Japan. Thank you. Yeah, let's pause. Um, step back a bit. Good. All right. Hi, my name is Elijah James, and I'm in grade eight. Was that? Who? Hi, my name is Elijah James, and I'm in grade eight, and I will be talking about the transportation and the communication and their needs in Hiroshima. Uh, their transportation, the mass, they have different types of transportation. They have mass transportation and individual transportation. For the mass transportation scene, they have bullet trains to airplanes to buses, ships, cars, and also cars. In the individual transportation scene, they, they, they're just bikes and for now, the communication. Uh, they have Japanese to Ryukin, and the word hello means, and the word hello is translated into, into konnichiwa. And the other languages in Ryukin, they have nebichika, anyu, Work and what you can. You, you see that Ben Hadley don't do nothing, but he don't even he not even offer. He also was not here when the topics were assigned. But you think he asking? Is there an extra topic I can get? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Huh? Yeah, you can just.
Japan had entered World War II September 1st, 1939, and, and, and it also ended in September 2nd, 1945. It ended for six years and one day. Mm. 